Hello everyone, this is me, Tariq Hamla Christina, currently pursuing my Bachelor of Social Worker second semester from Norris Institute of Social Sciences and Research, Nazer. So today we'll be making a video content for faculties and students where they'll be sharing their views and opinions and I'll be asking questions. So now let's go and have an interaction with the students and faculties and hear it from them about Nazer. Let's go. Hello sisters, so can you please share us about your experience in Sarwadaya? Hello, so my name is Sisuku Nutold, uh, students of Nizer, pursuing a Master of Social Work. So my experience in Sarwadaya, uh, here we usually consider it as a unit practice, that um, it is indeed a unit platform that pushes students to come out of their comfort zone and discover new things and their potentials. It is an amazing opportunity to try new things and also like uh, to uh, do the various challenges like uh, trying to, um, meditation, sharing, debate, documenting, etc. So personally, I have experienced a significant boost in my uh, confidence, especially when it comes to sharing um, and speaking in, uh, in front of others. Therefore, Savadaya has taught me how to tackle different situations and uh, grow as an individual. So thank you, Ms. Vesikuno, for sparing your time to be a part of this interview. Thank you. Sister, so uh, can you please share us about the specialization course offered at NAZER? Okay, thank you so much. My name is Mercy. I'm a student of uh, NAZER, pursuing my MSW degree. So talking about different specialization calls offered in NAZER, firstly, we have community development specialization. So the CD specialization offers the students with an opportunity to uh, directly engage with the community at the grassroots level, and also uh, empower the community to uh, identify and address their own needs. So secondly, we have uh, youth development specialization. So the YD specialization enables the students uh, to focus on the unique uh, problems and challenges faced by the youths and the young people, and which also like fosters their development and well-being. So thirdly, we have peace and conflict transformation studies. So the PCTS provides or equip the students with a tool to mediate conflict and also promotes reconciliation and which allows the students to build a peaceful uh, communities. And fourth, we have social entrepreneurship development specialization. So the SED specialization uh, provides the students with the skills to create innovative solutions which addresses the social and environmental challenges and also it focuses on the sustainable development of the society. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for sparing your time and being a part of this interview. Hello, sister. So do you think Nazar has a friendly atmosphere? And if yes, and why do you think so? Hi, my name is Vevo Lekalau, and I'm currently pursuing Master of Social Work in Nazar. Uh, yeah, our institute, uh, the faculty-student relationship are exceptionally good, contributing to a friendly atmosphere. The faculty um, play as a role of mentor in allied with our academic and um, our social life. Um, the mutual respect and support are the norm, fostering to a sense of belonging and providing a free and a friendly environment. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sister, for sparing your time and being a part of this interview. Thank you. Hello, sister. So how is the teaching learning method adopted at Nazar? Do you think it helps students to grow academically? Okay, hello, my name is Sister Shaiduris Nongrem, a student of fourth semester BSW. Speaking about the teaching and learning process of NASER, it has helped me a lot as NASER emphasizes learning by doing. It provides a platform and ample opportunities for students to explore and gain knowledge both in theoretical as well as in practical level. So through various curriculum and co-curriculum activities uh, provided by the college, like fieldwork, both summer and winter fieldwork, rural camps, study tour, and block placement. So uh, there are different forums and clubs in the college in which uh, here the students were given the chance to build their capacity, to develop their confidential as well as their leadership skills. So here the students participate in different competitions as well as activities like debate competitions and discussions on different social issues which are prevalent in the society. 
So through these different experiences, the students not only learn, but grow as a responsible and professional social workers. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for letting us know more about the teaching learning methods. And also, thank you for being a part of this interview. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon, sister. So my question is, what is the vision, mission, and motto of NAZER? I'd like to speak about the vision of our institution is achieve transcendent life through a holistic development. That means uh, helping the students to have a higher level of uh, knowledge and a overall development of the students. That is uh, going beyond the physical health or the mental success. Overall growth of the students, that means physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, making the students to grow and contribute something for the better society tomorrow. When it comes to the mission, mission is always a pathway to achieve this vision. That means building up in the mind of the students a kind of feelings like compassion, personal integrity, tolerance, and self-respect, which a social worker perfectly needs. And finally, when it comes to the motto, excel in knowledge and service. And the, when the knowledge is in our head level, it has nothing to do. The knowledge comes to, ca, has to come to penetrate into our heart and work to the hands, then uh, the development will happen. The knowledge becomes service to the humanity. So here in this institution, we are perfectly perf uh, making the students to the, how the knowledge became service for the society, service for themselves, to make a better society as a social workers. Thank you, sister, for sharing us your knowledge and being a part of this interview. Thank you so much. Hello, sister. So can you share us about the faculties and management system at Nazer? Hello everyone, my name is Teng Litsla and I'm from BSW second semester. So talking about the management of our college, uh, the management of our college is amazing. They are always there to help us and support us and to ensure that we have everything that we need to succeed. And also the facilities here are top notch from the library to the computer center as well as coaching centers with collaboration with Vedic IS Academy. And also, yeah, the faculties here are very friendly and helping and in making our college experience uh, fun and enjoyable. So overall, I feel really lucky to be a part of this college. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Ateng, for sharing us your experience and being a part of this interview. Thank you. Hello, good morning, ma'am. So can you share us like what are the facilities provided at NAZER and how are these facilities helping in teaching learning process? Hello, my name is Vetoni. I'm pursuing Master of Social Work. The facilities of NISER include such as a smart classroom, multi-purpose hall, conference hall, computer lab, library with e-national library access, canteen f uh, service, a bus service from Dimapur to institution, purified drinking water facilities, disabilities uh, friendly environment, and many more. These facilities are very helpful in the learning process of a student that enhances to uh, quality performances. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for letting us know more about the facilities and also for giving. Hello, brother. So my question is, what is your stand on this three years duration of program? Uh, so hello, my name is Nikayo Tomi and I am from second semester BS the Blue. And this program, BSW uh, program, is only for three years. And in these three years, uh, we are given enough time and opportunity to gain uh, experiential learning that adds up to our cognitive skills and our thinking pattern, which is highly furnished. It's, it has been almost a year since I joined this institution, and it has been a wonderful experience in this institution. And in this period of three years, Everyone is given enough opportunity so that they can rediscover themselves and find their own purpose. Thank you. Thank you for sharing us your experiences. And also thank you for being a part of this interview. Hello, good morning. So uh, can you share us like what are the life skills training provided at NAZER and how are these skills helping you in your personal life? Well, NAZER is one institute where 
uh, various opportunities are given for students and all the students have a wide range of learning. As for the training skills, um, NISER provides with uh, various training programs like uh, life skill development for baking and cooking and as well as for electrical training and banana fiber and um, handicraft making which provide as additional skills, additional life skills to uh, to help students in future job opportunities as well as for business ideas. The institute also provides with um, collaboration, especially for the clubs, to collaborate with different spokesperson and um, organizations where they, also, where they provide uh, training workshops where students are able to learn additional um, life skills where um, they provide with um, extensive extensive range of um, skills and especially on communication as well as uh, on mediation skills where you ha uh, the students can and learn to adapt in certain situations where uh, the students can also apply the proper interventions intervention skills in certain situations and these are some of the tr life skills that these training programs have taught the students. Okay, so thank you for sharing us your experiences and your views and also for being a part of this interview. Thank you. Hello, good morning. So my question is, what do you feel or think about one's own institute getting accredited? Well, first of all, my name is Kezivit Yoshokri, uh, currently pursuing my Master's of Social Work at NASER. So speaking about this institute getting accredited, this is the first time our institute is going under NAC accreditation. Uh, the SSR, the Students Satisfactory Survey, and DVV have been carried out. So we are gearing up for this NEC peer team to visit us soon. Um, we are also proud to say that our institute stands fulfilling all the seven criteria under NEC accreditation. So yeah, best wishes to our institute. Thank you for sharing us your views and also for sparing your time to be a part of this interview. Hi, sis. So, what do you think about the competency of faculties here at NASER? Um, first of all, like as a student, we ser we always, you know, um, feel comfortable in front of teachers who are friendly to us, and uh, that m makes us feel that uh, there's so much more than just to study and the teachers out here in Nasser is amazing they not only they're highly educated but they are also very friendly towards us and uh, because of that attitude because of that personality that they uh, that they are we feel comfortable and we share a safe place a safe uh, platform for us to speak up on any issues that we face also and um, especially uh, the, the faculty members of our teacher is uh, has been working so hard and has been putting so much effort in everything they do so I think that uh, the, uh, the faculties out here are doing amazing job and also um, they're they also have a very good personality and also they're very friendly towards their students Thank you very much for sharing your views and experiences and also thank you for being a part of this interview. Hello brother. Hi. So can you share us your views regarding the fieldwork practicum and internship? So uh, thank you so much. First of all, uh, my name is James Panongkyu and currently I'm pursuing my fourth semester in MS Blue. Uh, you know, I'm very fortunate actually uh, as a student that like uh, coming back to your question, uh, the fieldwork practicum and uh, internship, you know, it uh, gives a wide range of opportunities for the students to explore their skills and like uh, it helps the students to face the real world and it helps the students to uh, train their professional skills so like this institute not only provides a theoretical learning but also gives a practical uh, learning such as like uh, giving opportunities for students to uh, go for field work and internships so like through that students are getting their career uh, guidance and it also helps the students to develop their skills and it also helps the students to 
um, have employability skills. So I believe that when a students from our college nature graduates, I believe that all the students will have a employability skills where they can adjust and face the real challenging world. So that's my opinion. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing us your views and also for sparing your time to be a part of this interview. Thank you. Hello, brother. So, um, can you share us something about the unique culture of Nazer? Yes. yes, thank you. Myself, Bangun Blung Deng Mai, currently pursuing Master of Social Work in Nazer. And I'm, yeah, uh, privileged to study in this institution because Northeast Institute of Social Sciences and Research is considered as the sole institution in India which provide a specialization in peace and conflict transformation studies where it is not only confined to, for the students of MSW, but it also gives the opportunity to the bachelors of social science to learn about the peace and conflict transformation. And in addition to that, the students are given the opportunity to learn uh, and practice the peace intervention of how and when, how to do it. Yes, that is the thing. Okay, thank you so much for sharing us your experiences and your ideas about the culture of Nazer. And also thank you for being a part of this interview. Hello, brother. So since Nazer is implemented the practice of body system, what do you think are the benefits of this approach? Hello, my name is Treba. So this body system is one among the unique practice of Nazer. And this system, uh, students is given a partner and they are given the responsibility to fulfill the tasks of their partner during their absence. Also make the students to navigate the new environment and find way around. It is also an approach that helps the students to build good relationship with one another. Thank you. Hello, sister. So uh, can you share us your views regarding the certificate programs conducted at NASER and how are these programs helping students? Okay, so first of all, thank you for having me here. I'm So a uh, student of BSW first semester. So talking about certificate trainings, there are uh, trainings that focus on developing a particular skill. So NASER has offered several certificate programs and is currently uh, providing 30 certificate programs, which include assistant electrician, waste management, Baking and cooking, banana fiber extraction, post harvest processing, fundamentals of IT, basics of counseling, interview skills, and street theater. So, uh, by taking up these courses, students they gain knowledge and enhance in their professional development. So, when students are skilled in various uh, skills, it gives them more opportunity in their employability and it shows the employers that they have taken up initiatives and steps to enhance their personality development and also in their professional development. So it demonstrates our co uh, commitment and indicates that we have the necessary skill to excel in that particular role given to us. So, so I thank Nazer for giving us these opportunities to be skilled in various fields. Thank you. Thank you, Sis, for sharing us your views and experiences and also for being a part of this interview. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon, Miss. Good afternoon. So would you like to share something about Peace Channel? Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Ashila Teresa, and uh, at presently, I'm the project coordinator of Peace Channel. Peace Channel is a youth peace movement uh, started in the year 2006 at, in St. Xavier High Secondary School, Jaluki, under Pirin District. Uh, Peace Channel works with three sections of group, that is uh, Cherlen, uh, those are, Cherlen are known as Peace Club, and then we also uh, work with youth groups, uh, college level and university students, and they are known as Peer Mediation Forum, and we also work with the adult groups, uh, which is known as People's Forum for Peace. So we work with three sections, Cherlen, youth and uh, adults. Um, Cherlen are mostly from the school's uh, section, we have peace clubs in the schools and uh, presently we are working uh, with 60 peace clubs from different schools in Auckland and uh, uh, our programs are mostly to do with children as we believe uh, that children are our children are our future leaders thank you 
thank you, Miss, for sharing us your experiences, your knowledge, and also for letting us to know more about Peace Channel. And also thank you for sparing your time to be a part of this interview. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon, sir. So can you share us something about the Vedic IS Academy? Good afternoon. My name is Satul Shankar. I'm a faculty at Vedic IAS Academy, and I do teach General Studies Paper 3. Along with Northeastern Institute of Social Science and Research, here at Dimapur, Vedic IAS Academy provides classroom coaching program for all aspiring youths who wants to become a part of Indian bureaucracy. Now, about Vedic IAS Academy, we started out as an online platform in 2020, and later we started providing classroom coaching program since the last two years. At present, apart from Dimapur, we do provide classroom coaching program for students at Calicut, Ernakulam and Kollam. Now, at Vedic, we are headed by a team who has successfully coached around 200 students successfully to UPSC civil services examinations. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing us your knowledge regarding the Vedic IAS Academy, and also thank you for being a part of this interview. Hello, good evening, sir. So what is your opinion regarding the environment here at Nazar? Yeah, good evening. It's, yes, uh, the environment is wonderful. From the moment you step in, there are two arch overlapping each other, with Peace Channel on one side and Nazar on the other side like with a greenery background. So that welcomes you. So once you step in, it's all together in different world. It's such a wonderful, the pavement all around, the flowers on your left and right. When we look up, we see beautiful ground, big open space. And then in and, in and around the institute, we have a small, small huts. Those have been traditionally made like our traditional house, Naga's house. And then we have got also like, like uh, a beautiful house with, with this kind of horns type of things. This is a traditional one. It has a lot of meaning. And then the open gyms. So those are beautiful. It's just stimulating your thought. It gives you a good environment, good ambient where you can think, where you can interact. And then the place where quotations have been hanged all over the place. It's such a wonderful place to be in. It gives open, beautiful open space. And then just around that, we have got beautiful canals surrounding our institute. So those water bodies, which is around the institute also, it, it, it adds beauties to it. And then from this time, you step into the, our auditorium. Our auditorium is such a wonderful open space, big place, beautiful. Like, it's a glass all over the place, transparent, and then big hole we can see from, from Big, big, big fan moving around from top. People can look down and then see. And then, in fact, that's that's not only auditorium alone. It's multi-purpose. We spend a lot of time interact, talk, debate, sharing ideas, and even we play badminton and all those kind of things. So it's a wonderful place to be in. It's such a beautiful place where you can make use of it, and then, and then it's a thought-provoking, very stimulating place where you can do a lot of thinking. So this is all I can say about um, our institute, NACER. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your views and opinions, and also thank you for being a part of this interview. You're welcome. Hello, good afternoon, ma'am. So what kind of activities and programs does the institute have? OK, so it's been a privilege working here. And um, over a period of time, we can see that the institute focuses both on um, curricular and co-curricular -curric activities. So for uh, curricular activities, it's of course, it's um, the usual stuff that we do. and. It's like mostly uh, academics in nature, but then when it comes to the co-curricular activities, in order to enhance students' knowledge and also um, help them different, uh, gain different perspective, we also like organize a seminar and workshop uh, specifically focusing on the topics which are relevant to the subjects and also which are relevant to the 
current situation and which are required for students to build their skills. Um, apart from this, as part of the field work, of course, but um, we focus on extinction and also outreach uh, activities, which like the institution also take initiative. And of course, students during their field work, they go for community outreach and um, they work with the community, focusing on giving awareness to the community on various social issues um, or for uh, empowering the community, women and children. So um, some of the outreach activities and also extension activities which uh, the Institute has taken initiative um, are like during the COVID period, um, NASER, Initially, it was in the old campus, but then Nazar was one of the COVID control room, which was set up by the Diocese of Kohima. And then um, we were able to distribute food and ration to the affected families, and also um, food distribution and relief materials and medicines to the marginalized community as well. Apart from this, the institute also take initiative in providing relief um, to fire victims and also flood affected uh, families in Dimapur. And most of the time this happens every year. So along with the faculty, even the students, we do need assessment. And then based on that, we try to raise fund uh, and also like um, different materials uh, to help the families affected. Um, after coming to the new campus, we have also done food distribution to people, uh, to the community, the homeless people specifically. And uh, so with regard to the outreach and extension, this is also in line with the vision, mission, and motto of the Institute uh, to reach out not only, not only uh, to confine in the, com in the campus itself, or within the institute, but um, taking the knowledge and also taking all the uh, the social work services outside of the institute as well. So thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am, for sharing us your knowledge and experiences, and also thank you for being a part of this interview. Hello, good afternoon, miss. Good afternoon. So can you share us something on what professional progressive circle means? Sure. So this professional progressive circle, also known as PPC, is a formal institutionalized uh, system for participatory and um, problem solving interaction among the group members. So here in NASA, we encourage the students to form into small groups where they will come together by their own decision and uh, they will come together to discuss and identify social problems where they will analyze and generate innovative ideas in development projects uh, and also implement them in their own ways to professional development. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss, for sharing us your knowledge and also thank you so much for being a part of this interview. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon, sir. So what do you think about the relationship between students and faculties at NASER? Well, a good student and teacher relationship is important because it creates a peaceful and thriving classroom environment. It is vital because it helps students develop their self-worth, encourage and motivate them to participate in all kinds of activities. And also, in the same manner, it helps to you know, minimize and reduce behavioral problems. At NASER, we have a strong student-teacher student relationship, which is very friendly, approachable, and understandable. At NASER, the, this relationship is further enhanced through individual conference, group conference, and joint group conference, and even telephonic conversation, or telephonic through telephonic uh, conferences, as and when required, where the faculty knows the strength and weaknesses of each and every student. And further, we uh, suggest measures or uh, the areas to improve. And then the ma major problems which students face, 
we help them to cope with life challenges. At Nazer, faculty choose to be a guide, a mentor, and a friend instead of a critics. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for sharing us your thoughts, and also thank you very much for being a part of this interview.